When you have a panic attack, your body is having a fight or flight response to something that your mind thinks is life-threatening, and you basically rev everything up. So you start breathing faster, your blood pressure goes up, your mind starts racing and your heart starts pounding. And if you're being attacked by a lion or chased by a bear, this is pretty useful. But if all you're trying to do is get through to your next meeting or plan a dinner with some friends, this anxiety can be debilitating. To stop it, you need to get your mind to think about other things or to reverse that adrenaline surge. And that's where I think Moksha's Beam can be helpful. It's pretty simple. You pick it up, you put it in your mouth, and you breathe. Immediately, this focuses your mind on your breathing and can help to distract you from the other things that might be causing your anxiety. We know that breathing exercises can be helpful in anxiety, but if you're in the middle of a panic attack, it's kind of hard to think about exactly how long you're spending in inhalation versus exhalation. And so the beam is designed to force you to exhale more slowly, so that's one more thing you don't have to think about. When you use the beam, you're also increasing your airway resistance, which applies more pressure to your vagus nerve and activates your parasympathetic nervous system. This sends signals throughout your body that slow it down and reverse that adrenaline surge that's causing your anxiety. The science behind it's a lot more complicated, but the beauty in the moksha beam lies in its simplicity. All you have to do is pick it up and breathe. 